Now, in terms of um, staying competitive, it is probably going to be the case, as I mentioned, that um, you're going to have to be looking at sort of a lower labor input, uh, higher capital uh, uh, inputs, uh, introducing greater uh, uh, capital inputs in terms of the, uh, the production process. Uh, and that puts pressure in terms of uh, the labor uh, uh, component that you have sort of a higher skill level. Uh, and it's going to be important in terms of the Canadian uh, economy, the educational system that you produce uh, uh, workers uh, that are able to operate in this kind of environment where you're looking at sort of higher capital uh, input. Uh, and in terms of the interest in terms of this group, you know, it is an issue with the uh, immigration as well, that you'll be looking for individuals uh, that higher, have the higher levels of education uh, that fit better in terms of where the Canadian economy uh, is going to have to uh, uh, have to move. Now, as I mentioned, I, I'm not an expert on immigration policy, uh, but my sense is that essentially that it has been what's been driving the uh, uh, the immigration uh, process. As Alan mentioned, uh, the points-based system for immigration policy uh, does reward uh, applicants with higher educational levels. So it's doing its part uh, in terms of helping the uh, move the Canadian economy uh, in the direction that it uh, uh, that it needs to go. Uh, and as Alan did point out, among industrialized economies, Canada does stack up fairly well in terms of attracting immigrants and integrating them into the Canadian economy. However, it is also the case that just if you look at Canada itself, our, our success in terms of integrating uh, immigrants really has been deteriorating over the last couple of decades. Uh, that sort of the income gaps have not been closing uh, as, as quickly here uh, in Canada uh, as they have been in terms of past decades. And I stress I'm not an expert in terms of the issue, uh, in terms of analyzing, in terms of what the problems have been, uh, but sort of a casual sort of reading of the literature, one often sees references to um, the lack of recognition in terms of foreign credentials uh, as being impediments in terms of getting new immigrants more integrated in terms of the, uh, 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 the Canadian economy. Um, but as Alan pointed out, sort of integration of uh, uh, these immigrants is going to become an important issue to help the Canadian economy uh, move in the direction that it, uh, uh, that it needs to, uh, uh, to move towards.